Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Keith Thurman. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 115, 112 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. And judge at ringside, Tim Cheatham sees it 115 to 112 in favor of the winner, Boxing's Pride of the Philippines, the Ageless Wonder, the one and only current WBA welterweight champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Back upstairs to Chris Myers. Well, we saw a tremendous high-energy non-stop action Ooh. fight that went the distance that went in favor of Manny Pacquiao with Deontay Wilder. Uh, Ray Mancini, you thought it was going to be unanimous. Tell us how Pacquiao was able to win this. Oh, uh, man, he just came out. Pacquiao had a better game plan. His mindset was different. He came to, he came to, to prove a point. He came to show that age ain't never the number, baby. <laughs> I tell you, he fought because he had the, he had the style. He, he just, I told you, this guy's a freak of nature with his speed. His footwork won him the fight today. Yes. His footwork was the, I was mean, the this, key. This was a historic, classic performance when you think about a fighter. Started to box, he made it a little bit of a closer bout. Uh, most definitely, you know, um, just Thurman, he just, after that knockdown, you know, I think that was a, a bit of a surprise for yes, him, you yes. know, being that back out, you know, we always, we, the big factor here is the youth, the age, That's you right. know, and we was all up into that. And I like this, and you know, and, the, and the, he was a little sadly mistaken. Pacquiao clearly landed more effective punches, and when Thurman did hit, he did have that right hand late, but it seemed like Manny just responded. Yeah, Manny knew that that's a big punch from Keith, and Manny, you know, Manny's got a great chin, obviously. And we Keith never expected that. Yeah. So Manny Pacquiao. He, he takes out one time and stiff arms father time to keep Thank you very much, Kenny. Well, Manny, all week you told us that you wanted to prove that you could still do it at 40 years old. Well, you certainly did that here tonight. If you are smiling, how fun was this fight for you? Oh, it's, uh, it's fun. I mean, uh, I'm getting hard for uh, my opponents because um, he's not an uh, easy opponent. He's, um, he's a good fighter. He's a good boxer. So he's strong. I know you had a lot of, uh, there was a lot of trash talk, but you remained calm throughout this. You didn't really engage in the trash talk, but you said you wanted to teach him a lesson. Is it or a little extra bonus getting the win because of all that talk? Well, um, uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not the kind of boxer of talkers. You know, he's just promoting the fight. He's just promoting the fight. And then I think uh, we did a lot, a lot of the things. Uh, he, did his, he did his best, and, and I did my best to the people make happy. You made the people happy. This crowd was chanting Manny, Manny, Manny all night long. How much did you draw from this crowd? I really love the, the fans. I really love the fans. Thank you so much for uh, coming here and witness the, the, the fight. Um, I'm sure uh, you're happy tonight because uh, you, get, you see a good fight. Even though uh, uh, Turman, he lost, but uh, we, he, did, he did his best. I mean, uh, he's not... He's not easy opponent. He's, he's a good boxer. He's strong. 
and um, I mean, I think I, I just I just blessed tonight. You know, you haven't fought three times in one year since 2008. I know you have obligations with the Senate in the Philippines, but do you have one more in you in 2019? Um, uh, I think uh, next year, uh, my next fight uh, probably next year because uh, I have uh, I'm so uh, I am busy to this this year after this after this fight I'm going back to the Philippines to work starting working in in the, in the Senate. I know you have a jet standing by to do that. I want to ask you really quick, what opponent stands out in this division? It's a stacked division. Obviously, we have Staples Center September 28th. It's Errol Spence, Sean Porter, potentially the winner of that fight. Yeah, I hope I, I, I can watch that fight. I'm going there and then to witness the fight. Well, congratulations on an amazing win here at the MGM at 40 years old. You still got it, Manny Pacquiao. All right, standing to my left, Keith, you lost the zero tonight, but you did so in spectacular fashion. When you, when you heard the split decision, what was going through your mind? I knew it just, it was too close. You know, he got the knockdown, so he had momentum in round one. Um, you know, I want to thank the fans. I want to thank everybody coming out. This was a beautiful night of boxing. Manny Pacquiao is a truly great, great, legendary champion. Oh, Senator, oh, Senator, great as ye, oh, Senator. I promise I'd say that if he won tonight, and he did. He got the victory over me. I wish I had a little bit more output to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I felt like he was getting a little bit tired, but he did have experience in the ring. Uh, my conditioning, my output was just behind Manny Pacquiao. It was a great uh, night of boxing. I would love the rematch. Uh, it is what it is, baby. You get blessings and lessons tonight. Tonight was a blessing and a lesson. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Manny Pacquiao. Thank you, Keith Thurman. We appreciate it, guys. From in the ring, back to ringside. All right, thanks, Heidi. A very classy Keith Thurman, who suffered the first defeat of his career. Manny Pacquiao, the first to win widely recognized versions of the 147 pound title four different times in his career. So, Pacquiao victorious. Split decision, Lennox. Were you surprised by that? Uh you know, it's fair, fair, uh, but Pacquiao was really leading the way. You know, uh, Thurman didn't have no answer for the footwork. Simple as that. And I think, you know, when you look at the fight and how he would have fought the fight, he needed to factor that in to what he needed to do. And Joe Thurman acknowledged that Pacquiao was just a little bit quicker, a little bit stronger than he was tonight. No, exactly right. He said he was a little bit ahead of me on the punches, a little bit ahead of me on the conditioning, and that he learned a big lesson. Look. I was given the edge, you know, in thinking, of course, of, uh, ahead of this fight, that Thurman would have the youth on his side, especially down the end. But to tell you the truth, Paco, I think, surprised, except for the most ardent fans, it surprised a lot of people, including myself. I'll never, ever, uh, you know, look to Paco as an old guy again. He's just an amazing person, and it was a tremendous win for him tonight. And, you know, given the thought of, you know, Pacquiao's been fighting, so it's not like he's been off for a couple of years. Keith Thurman was off for a couple of years, had a couple of injuries, came back with one fight. Now this is his second fight after the comeback, and he did look a bit rusty in the first fight when he came back. Pacquiao, the first all-time to win a widely recognized world title as a teenager and as a 40-year-old. He joins George Foreman as the only man to hold titles 20-plus years apart. Yeah, this is like, when you look at these two guys, you can never tell that one guy's 10 40. years ahead. Yeah, uh, it's just amazing. Look, you, you'll never see this again in, in our lifetime. We'll never see a guy that was 40 years old that could do something like this. Look at this knockdown at the beginning. Oh, well, here it comes right here. Right there. I mean, look how fast that those two punches came, that left hand down to the body and the right hook. I would love to see, I would love to see if, you know, Manny stepped on his foot when he was punching him at that point, because it definitely looked like it. No, well, I think Thurman probably would have said something about that had that happened. He just said, hey, look, the knockdown in the first round. He didn't say the, uh, the foot stomper. But, you know, the bottom line is, <laughs> the bottom line is, no matter which way you slice it, Manny Pacquiao was incredible tonight. I, I just it blows me away just how good he still is at 40. Yeah, uh, it, it's hard to differentiate. Hang on. And he's still going. Well, and yeah, he's still going. He told Heidi probably would not fight again until 2020. You know what that means? He turns 41 in December. Uh. So we probably saw his last fight as a 40 year old Pacquiao victorious in a swift decision defeating Keith one time Thurman.
who drops to 29 and 1. Pacquiao continues to do 